Hello everybody, welcome to another epic adventure. Much, much, much later. Okay, so uh, I'm in Long Beach, California, and I'm sitting on a jet ski, getting ready to take a cruise out to Catalina. I think we're gonna do about 26 miles, about uh, 35, 36 kilometers. And I was waiting for the rest of the group to get here and uh, have a little safety, safety briefing. Uh, kind of a cloudy day today, but um, hopefully, Hopefully it'll be a nice day today. Uh, it looks like the, the seas are pretty calm right now. So, all right. So I will chat with you soon. Well, happy Friday. Thank you for spending it with us. Uh, here at Jesse Catalina, we like to start off by saying we are not a tour company, we're an adventure company. And what does that mean for you? Well, we're not gonna stick you in a line, you know, go super slow. You guys could use the full potential of these machines. Go as fast, as slow as you want, as sideways, do whatever you want today. We just have three main rules that keep this trip safe and allow you guys to have as much fun as you want and not turn into a tour company. So those three main rules, biggest one today, if you don't remember anything else I say right now, spread out, spread out, spread out, spread out, spread out. Stay far, far, far away from everybody. Uh, if you know each other, friends and family, triple what the distance I'm about to tell you. So the distance we like out there is those rocks right behind you to this shed. Double that away from anyone, and like I said, friends and family, triple that. Statistically speaking, friends and family do hurt and kill each other the most on jet skis. Never happened here, we're not a part of those stats. All those stats are mainly in Florida, so let's just keep them there. <laughs> spread out, spread out, spread out, spread out. So, that is our biggest rule if you do not remember anything else. Spread out. Uh, rule number two, I met most of you up there. I'm Adam, I'll be the lead guy today in the front. Rule number two is simply just don't pass me. I gotta navigate boat traffic, wildlife, uh, we gotta buy by all the rules out there. Sort of contradicts what I said about how much fun and you know, you get to have as much fun as you want. So how do we do that? I'm gonna be in the front. We're gonna be the flying V out there going down the Catalina freeway. You know, like the birds fly, just going straight. I go 35, 40, that's plenty fast for most. You wanna go have fun, go faster. What you're gonna do, slow down, get outside that flying V formation, take it off the freeway, off to the desert, we like to call it. Go crazy out there. Take off 30, 40 seconds to the right, 90 degrees, and you'll turn around and be like, oh, I'm two miles behind. And then you get to gun it back. So that's how you, how you go fast. That's where you do all your crazy stuff off in the desert. Never zigzag across the group on the freeway, because if you fall off 10 jet skis behind, you it's not a good outcome it's just for your own safety when you're doing that crazy stuff make sure no one is ever behind you and then get outside that flying v formation you can do whatever you want in the safety of your own throw yourself off but you never want to like fly off and have your jet ski go into someone so stay far away from everyone when you're doing that crazy stuff off in the desert so that's rule number two just don't pass me Rule number three, we take a ton of breaks. This is a long journey today. Uh, every break, just turn off those jet skis. We have people swimming, people just you know relaxing. Just shut off the jet ski every single stop. If you're far away from one of your friends, when we do come to stop, wave one of us down and we'll make sure you can get over there safely. Hard to verbally communicate out there, so for all those rules, we do have hand signals. The one I'll probably be doing the most today is simply sticking up my arm. That means I'm coming to one of our breaks. So if you're off in the desert, start simply bringing it back to the group. Uh, if you see me going like this today, the whole group needs to slow down. That's for wildlife, boat traffic, all that stuff. Uh, we can't split around boats. So if you see me go right around the boat, you're far off over there, make sure you go right as well. The whole group needs to follow me around every boat we go. We can't split around, it's super, super dangerous. But yeah, if you see me doing this, this is mainly for boat traffic or wildlife. If I point directly at you and give you the slow down symbol, you need to grab that break immediately. Someone could be falling in front of you or you could be coming into the group way too hot. So if you see me doing this to you, grab that break immediately uh, for roll three. That simply means shut off the motor today. So if you're at one of our stops, your motor's still on, we're just gonna go like that, turn it right off. Uh, for the biggest roll today, if you're too close to one another, simply spread out, get away from everybody. 
Uh, one big thing, also give me that space out there. It does make finding the wildlife way easier. So if you do crowd me and start splashing me, I'm gonna push you away. So that just means, you know, give me that space, get away from me out there. Uh, but other than that, those are our main hand signals. We give you a thumbs up, just shoot one right back. And if anything ever goes wrong out there, just come to a complete stop. Once you are at a stop, that's where we, we know, oh, you know, they need some assistance. Uh, but other than that, who wants to know how to ride these things? Yeah? yeah. It's an energy driven trip. You guys are gonna get splashed, you'll wake up out there. <laughs> Everyone throw up your right hand for me. Oh, sweet, way better than yesterday. <laughs> Grab that right handlebar, find that little squirt gun trigger, that little lever. Everyone's got that lever on the right side. That is your throttle, that's your gas. You pull that all the way down, you are going fast. That's your speed, that's how you have fun today. On the left hand side, you have an IBR system, intelligent braking and reverse. Uh, these things do have brakes in reverse, but they're not gonna slam you on your brakes like a car. It's just gonna come to a slow stop. So don't think you come flying into the group and then grab those brakes and be okay. It's gonna need some time to slow down. And once you are stopped, if you're still holding that reverse, it's a slow, or that brake, it turns into a slow reverse. So if you find yourself bumping people backwards, just simply let go of that brake and you'll sit there in neutral and just float around. Uh, we turn it on and off with that big red button on the left hand side. Uh, one big thing about turning it off when we're out there today, make sure we are completely stopped and then turn it off. Because if you turn it off while you're still going, you lose all power, you lose all steering, and that's where most of our costly accidents happen. So if we're at one of our stops and you're bumping people, that's never a good thing. So make sure you're complete stop and then turn it off and none of those accidents will happen. But one last thing, your best friend out there, does anyone know why doubles are the slowest? No, no guesses? Most people say wait, it's a logical answer. These things do not care how much you weigh though, they'll get you to full speed just like that if you have three, four, five people on them. Even though that's not recommended, they'll get you up there. Uh, it's because that passenger is gonna be screaming in your ear today. So, you guys are, sh I'm sure everyone's gonna be switching today, so, you know, you have time for revenge, but let the driver drive because these jet skis do not work properly unless they are going a certain speed. Uh, we got nice conditions today, but if you are getting a little pulled by the ocean, you're gonna be like this, come up to me, be like, hey, it's rough, oh my God, my alignment's off. There's no wheels, it's just we're gonna ask you to go a little bit faster, and that magic number is 30. When you hit 30, these things lift up like this, and they start gliding across. If you're going 25, 20, they're like this, and they're fighting all the waves. Once you get that nose up, it's like skipping across a rock across the lake. So yeah, that magic number's 30. We like to say 33 is the golden number. Once you hit that speed, you'll be going 40 with me in no time, and then taking it off to the side, going 50, 60 within, you know, that, that's what usually happens. So figure out that speed, figure out speed is your best friend, and uh, you'll have a great time out there. Plus, a few of you are asking about sharks. Sharks usually travel about 20, 21, so if you're going 30, you'll never see them. <laughs> Just kidding, we only see dolphins and whales. <laughs>
sorry, sorry man. <laughs> Forty-two ninety-seven Exxon. Forty-two ninety-seven. All right. Now. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna we're gonna go do a little cave right. swim here. Forty-two ninety-seven. For the current, you know, to I know, right? you can't swim against this. <laughs> yeah, come on, right here, guys. there we go. Here I come Don't to you. you I'm behind you, <laughs> right on, brother. <laughs> here we go. Hey, hey, Careful, the walls are getting really sharp. Here we go. All right, does the wave. Come on, yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> We're getting you go on, if you lay on your back, Pardon me? If you roll on your back and you uh, look up, it's pretty cool too. Oh yeah. Yep. Make it look back like that. Uh-huh. Okay, the next way. There we go. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Yep. Wow, dude, that's cool. Yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Good job, Kyle. Thanks, buddy. Rocking. <laughs> Gotta wait for the next wave. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking up right here. Oh, yeah. Come on, yeah. We got this. <laughs> yeah. Rolling. Oh, yeah, our chest are right here. <laughs> <laughs> Careful of all the really sharp. Oh, I don't know. Oh, what's the you on? Uh, what's the you on, brother? You uh, 4297. 4297. Yeah, I didn't have an animal. Sorry, okay. <laughs> 4297. Alright, you want to ride? Heck yeah. Alright, jump one. Oh, is this about the call, Uber? <laughs> <laughs> this is the Uber. Oh, no, Uber. Yeah, this is uh, Adam Goober. <laughs> Goober. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Adam Goober. All right, so you're going to pull the bar down? Yeah. There you go. Nice, right up. There you go. You want to sit on it like normal? Okay. Woohoo! Got my Uber driver here. Woohoo, baby! <laughs> Uber for sure. Look, Kyle. Right on, brother. <laughs> and you said 4297? Yeah, 4297. Sorry, 
gotta call Uber. <laughs> Alright, nine seven. Oh, you would have the longest swim anyway. Oh, yeah, the oh, longest. Yeah. Swim. <laughs> All right, brother. Perfect. There's my ride. I'll put you right up next to it. Yeah. Oh. All right, that'll be three seashells. <laughs> <laughs> and a crabby patty. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks, brother. That's why we give you about three hours at lunch. Uh, <laughs> after last exactly, exactly. Running, 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 yeah. Out here all running. Running, 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 yeah. Watch out, here we come. Running, 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 yeah. We're pulling back into Long Beach. It was an awesome trip over to Catalina. We, we did about 52 miles, which I think is about 84 kilometers or so. And we had uh, some time over on Catalina to have some lunch and uh, kind of explore the island a bit. Now we're uh, pulling in here, and it, it was uh, it was a great ride over to Catalina, but. Honestly, on the way back, it, it was very rough, very rough. And, but it was still kind of fun. It was uh, challenging, uh, but trust me, I'm happy that we're back. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, next stop, uh, who knows, uh, further down South California, uh, another next adventure. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, pound that like button. It'd be awesome if you subscribe, leave some comments down below. And until next time, everybody stay safe. Live now with Joy Dung Ha. Woo! <laughs> Are you guys I'm ready? Done. All right. Ready. So, finish this. Uh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? <laughs> SpongeBob Sponge Sponge Square. Square. Oh! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob Square. Oh, they got it. <laughs> All right.